Hello everyone, this is Game Trooper 1138 and welcome back to the quarry. Now as you can see in the bottom left corner is my OC, which is created by created by I'm terrible with names. I can tell you. I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you. Created by Faye. That's F Fi, Fay, Fi, F A I. This is someone I found on Fiverr who I had draw my OC for me. So this would be my BNG, I guess you can say. So I guess I'll start using this because uh, part eight, as you see, did not finish because G Force wants to be an ass. So I'm using Streamlabs because I went and tested and Streamlabs can record this. So with that said, the rest of these videos are going to be recorded by Streamlabs because I'm getting sick and tired of G-Force. I really am. G-Force cannot record my videos half the time and now and as some of you have already seen with a lot of my live streams I've done, G-Force can't even really keep my live streams going. For most of the time, so I may be switching it up to Streamlabs. I don't know. I only have a small desk with one monitor. I want to get a bigger desk where I can get a second monitor and try to run everything on two monitors and then eventually maybe upgrade to a third monitor. But right now that's on hold for the time being. But with that said, we're going to continue. Uh. I, it's just, it's just, it's just, it just, just, just sucks. It sucks. I, I hate it. I, yeah, I'm just sick and tired of G4. So I don't know if me using Streamlabs is gonna make the game play. But if it does, then I may not use G4 unless it's an absolute I have to. So until then, we're gonna continue. Okay, now it's got the date correct. Last time it was saying it was November. It's weird. But, uh, yes, uh, apparently we, uh, did kill Chris Hackett. And only two people, as far as we know, have turned back from werewolves in their human form, being Laura and Max. But it turns out Chris Hackett wasn't the first one. The first one was Silas. Silas being the son of the fortune teller lady that we've been collecting the tarot cards for. She's the mother of Silas. So the mother of the werewolf. So for everyone who's turned into a werewolf, the only way to save them is to kill Silas. Yeah, so as far as the Hackett family goes, it's only Travis and Chris's son, Caleb. Everybody else is dead. So, that kind of brings everything up to speed. If there's anything else I may have forgotten, uh, uh, I guess put it down in the comments below and I will answer them in the comments. And hopefully try to get everything up to speed. And I will also, I guess, do it up to speed for the next video. So, with that said, let's continue. Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. Dude, how the hell am I gonna get down? 
I guess like that. Asked an answer. Uh. <sighs> Where the hell am I? So here's my question. Who is the other werewolf that was locked in the basement of the Hackett house? Oh, yeah. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. You got no clothes. Oh, oh, okay. nice. Gotta find Laura. Nice. Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah. Oh, fuck! There's, uh, Emma. I think that's what her name was. That spot in the back where you can put your ponytail through? That's so cool. Nice. Huh. You a swimmer? The werewolf transformation in this game compared to some of the others. Stay or swim the shore? Well, if I stay, I'm safe from any other werewolves. If I swim the shore, I'm putting myself in danger. Better chance of survival. You know what? For this dude, stay. Much worse than it already is, right? Yeah, don't say that, dude. Great. Just like the cartoons. 
It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, <laughs> we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, I mean, gotta get the a hunters, They're point. all gone. Except for Travis, but I think Travis is gonna be a problem. Am I supposed to be leading the way, or are you supposed to be leading the way and I follow? I don't know where we're going. I didn't know we were supposed to go upstairs. I don't know. There's no sense of direction here. I'm supposed to follow you as far as I knew. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> yes, I guess it'd be a good idea to prepare. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer, what doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Fuck meets for life, we're proud to proud say. say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <sighs> oh yeah, they're they're coming. Right down the chimney. Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh. Joy. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Uh, it's the werewolves starting to come in. Get out of the rain. What the? It's raining outside. Outside's probably the best place to go, right? Oh, shit. No. No. Okay, I thought it was raining. Never mind. Going out the window was a bad idea. You didn't lose the shotgun. Ooh! Why did that one have a red eye for a moment? What, it was supposed to be like a Terminator wolf? 
Uh, hi. Dylan, is Dylan gonna die because of my decision to hide it? Oh, no, oh, he made it. Okay, I guess whatever I do, he do. Caitlin! Over here, Caitlin! Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it! Check it! Let me check it! Investigate. Silver shells! Hey, I'm here! Did you load it? Yes, she did. Oh no! I goof. I goof. I goof. I goof. Oh, I, I goof big time. I messed that up. I guess those three are heading to where Silas is supposed to be. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy which i've just put together is silas oh shit <laughs> it's a long story no it's not there was a fire silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him burn mm. what happened in the past doesn't matter right now uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. <sighs> so how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Uh, that may or may not be him. Yeah, everybody's out cold right now. Take the wheel, grab the gun. Take the wheel, grab the gun. Take the wheel, grab the gun. Uh, 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 grab the gun. I don't know. Shoot through the roof. 
Okay, he won't go. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get in. Grab the gun. Ryan, wake up! Ryan's KO. Are we there yet? <laughs> You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. And what in the hell? Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Ran over a werewolf. Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? We don't have time for this. We don't. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? So that's what that does. Fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. So... What about Ryan? Does he get a weapon? Because he's pretty much just walking around with nothing. Ryan needs something too. Damn, I can't believe I got Caitlyn killed, man. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. Hmm. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but. Then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. Eliza Vorez. I think. Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Silas that dog. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Your family started it. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? 
You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Hmm. Careful. See, it's a, it's a dog. No, oh, he's watching. See him. Fucking Jesus Christ. wrong what are you waiting for shoot your stupid girl mm. Laura do it he's just a boy he's responsible for so much death says you do it Give me the gun. Oh. I should have killed you when I had the chance. I don't want to shoot either one of them. been a good idea that I made Max stay on the island.
was a good idea that made Max stay on the island. Well, are you happy I didn't kill your boy? You lied to me. <laughs> Thought you were clever, didn't you? I knew my boy would be okay. With me watching over him, I'll never forget what you tried to do. Lady, I didn't try to do I've anything. I've been with you all night, you know. And I'm not about to stop just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now, I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. Okay. So is the night over? Ah, the night is over. Well, come follow me into a place where the fear is gone and the worries fade away. Cause it's a brand new day. I've got you and you got me. The sun is bright. Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with a silver shell. He waits for more over. Emma was killed by a werewolf Max at the treehouse. Baby, don't you know? I know Bobby Hackett but was known as by his werewolf brother. Ah, that's true. Jay was massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. That is love is oh, so Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silk. Ah! Or shot him Jacob was killed by a werewolf, Nick, after Ryan eventually abandoned him in the Hackett's basement. So that was Nick. Chris Hackett's daughter Kayla was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Nick survived a full moon in Werewolf. Abigail made it to safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin was killed by Caleb when she failed to shoot him. Having survived an earthquake when Caleb Haggard returned to his human form. After Laura hesitated to shoot Silas, the white wolf slaughtered Travis. When Laura failed to shoot Silas, Ryan was killed in an instant. Laura was killed when she failed to shoot Silas and end the curse. Silas? Nothing. Bodies pile up after the summer camp massacre. What do you make of that? What do I make of that? Why are they putting the bodies in a pile? They should respectfully bury them or. Well, you know, at one point, the way to respectfully uh, bury people was to put them in a pile and set it on fire, called a pyre. What does pyre mean if not a pile fire? Anyways, I'm pretty sure that the pile they reference is metaphorical. And I'm I'm pretty sure. I really hope it is. Yeah, that would be shoddy detective work. Hmm. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real-life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real-life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. Uh, no. <sighs> okay, so, I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind did you just ask if i had hat insurance yes it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you a hat yes okay i know where your priorities lie go on 
Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Okay. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Mm. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can. What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them 
Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. <laughs> or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, oh, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm hmm. All right. Um,. This is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay. Here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing. But I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later, but that's where the trail goes a little cold. What about the family? Well, they're all dead now, so I guess we'll never know. Those poor folks. Yeah, yeah. Then again, innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. 
Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment. Sorry, I'm being wild. Are like you ready for some real <laughs> spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. What do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family. Or, I guess it would have if they were still alive. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <sighs> Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence they were there this is real stuff grace it's stacking up against the hackets we might yeah. we might actually we got, know something we got a whole flapjack stack of evidence yes so what do we do shut off the podcast and report this to somebody what no <laughs> anton we finally have something going here it's getting juicy yes we have something real we have actual people have actually died this is actually crazy grace you did it just Take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. Hm. You've unlocked a death through one creature. This creature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the story's reverse playable character's death and try again to save them. Use three lives. Use your three lives. Use your three lives. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so that's what that was. Alright. So that's the end of the quarry. Probably not the best ending. But I finished. This was this is one of these games that's worth taking another good playthrough to try to see if you can get everyone out alive. At least all the people you play it, right? But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, let me know what you guys thought about this video, and be sure to hit that notification bell, that way you'll know when my next video is uploaded. With this, this will mark an end for Terror Tuesday, Thursdays, up until October, well, September, but September, my plan for September is, I'm still going to upload my regular videos, if I still have videos to upload at that point. But I will also try to live stream as much as I can in September to do the Amnesia series. So look forward to Scare Look forward to Scare Timber. That's what we're gonna be doing in September. Is a lot of live streams on the Amnesia series. And then of course October will be when I upload a bunch of scary games. Look forward to September and October. And thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed. I've been Game Trooper 1138. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!